Hey, YouTube, welcome to Daily Tea Sips. You know what, guys? There's a scripture. Before I start this, there's a scripture in the Bible, Proverbs 24, 17, that says, Rejoice not when thy enemy falleth, and let, let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth. Now, we're going to do our best here. Folks, please be patient with me. God is not through with me yet. I am still a work in progress. First things first, I'm trying to figure out from this photo which one of them has the worst makeup. But you know what? Let's let's go ahead and get on to the story. Donald Trump's assistant and director of communications for the Office of Public Liaison, Amarosa Manigault Newman, was terminated on Wednesday. What the hell is the do job description for the director of communications for the Office of Public Liaison? Please, somebody tell me somebody told i even read somewhere where her salary was like a hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars a year for what now if you let her tell it she decided to leave but she's i believe she's trying to save face but there was an article published back in september that suggested that she was on her way out and that trump would allow her to leave on her own terms now all that stumping for Trump that she did, you know, back in the day, you know, um, basically bought her about 11 months in the White House. Now, she claims that she left to pursue other interests, but then she also said that she'll be detailing her reasons for leaving soon. Now, I suspect she'll be looking for a book deal. And, of course, it is no, you know, coincidence, this is no shock that she's an opportunist. But, girl... Bye. I'm still not over the comment about how all these people were going to be bowing to the most powerful man in the world once he was elected. I mean, it was so cocky the way she said it. And to see her now being escorted out the door, for some of us, it, there's some joy in that. Now, sources claim that she was forced out, but I do think she walked out, but she was fired. Bottom line, though, is, you know, they were saying, oh, she was screaming, and I, no, I don't think she did any of that. Because, you know why? Because she's not going to burn that Trump bridge. He was her meal ticket. Now, here's what I think happened. This is just what I believe. We're going to change her name a little bit, because this is what I normally call her. Ponderosa was supposed to rally the black folks to support Trump. Somebody thought that she had pull in the black community. Now, when the White House figured out nobody was checking for Ponderosa and that she was useless, they decided to give her the boot. Hell, if they had asked around, we would have told them her black card had been revoked years ago. Right along with Stacey Dash, Kim Burrell, Azalea Banks, Tina Campbell, and Chrisette Michelle. It is no coincidence that all these people's careers are on a, down, a downward spiral, but that's a topic for another video. Now, John Kelly, who I believe is over the staff at the White House, I don't believe that they had a good relationship. And I don't think that he liked um, the fact that Amarosa was in Trump's ear. So he had to remove her from the equation. And we're going to call that cleaning the White House. Now, you guys, oh my goodness, political commentator Angela Rivals on CNN and she had me on the floor when she heard about Ponderosa being terminated. Folks, I'm going to link it in the, either in the video, I'm going to link it below in the description section. And folks, yes, it was petty. And yes, I was here for it. Now, what's next for Ponderosa? I, I did, again, I smell a book deal and maybe a few $50,000 uh, speaking engagements. Now, listen, I love to read a good book, but this book will definitely not make my list. I don't know if you guys caught Good Morning America this morning, but Good uh, Morning uh, Good Morning America co-host Robin Roberts had a Bye Felicia moment on air when she was discussing Ponderosa, and I was here for that too. I will link that below for you guys as well. Now, I know a lot of people on my on my uh, channel don't like a lot of political stuff, and I don't either. 
but there was something about this particular story for a lot of people that just it was just like a coming around moment because I think we all saw it and she was blinded by the glitz and the glamour of being in the White House but are you glad to see the token out of the White House folks go, go ahead and comment below don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next